Flies a Kite is the first children's book written by Belizean-American Harold Young. It took about eight months to get the book done, but it was a labor of love inspired by Belize and a bit of Young's personal life. Young says the book tells an inspirational story while it draws an appreciation for kite flying, which was once a Belizean favorite. It has an inspirational story, a theme that resonates with young people and adults. The idea is to do what you need to do, what you, what you love today and not put it off till tomorrow. And if you do that, then you enjoy tomorrow much more, the rewards will be there. Then the other aspect of the book itself is that it's extremely colorful. It's set in a kite flying scene, which is something that's been a tradition in Belize, even though it's not as strong as it used to be. And so it has a lot of kite flying imagery and march winds and mango trees. So it's kind of tropical setting and outdoors, because we want the kids to be outdoors more. So that's the setting that the story is in. Tell us a little about Karan. Is he perhaps a part of an inspiration from your own personal childhood? Actually, the, the opposite. I was a huge kite builder when I was a child, <laughs> right? Um, so, and I used to give, I actually used to give people kites, make them and give kites. So, I could understand somebody not having one and really feeling like left out. So, I really empathize with that feeling. So, this is where that came from. Like, I can understand people, a child being feel, feeling left out. But the idea is that if you really want something, if you want it, you can start. You can make a step and do it now. Illustrator Marvin Vernon's colorful, watercolor-like visuals complement Karen's story about the kite. Vernon explains how he merged his talent with different sources of inspiration to enhance and interpret Young's story. Well, one thing that you can expect is the, um, the illustrations of the kites, and that's really what the book is about, about bringing back, making, and flying kites because that is something that has sort of fallen out of popularity in Belizean culture and it really shouldn't because it's a really fun experience and it's definitely something that people should start doing more. I tend to draw inspiration from as many sources as I can find because I like to create something unique and I don't want to seem as though as I am trying to imitate any particular style because I wanted something original. So I look to other artists who have done watercolor styles and I even looked at artists who did styles through drawing and marker even and from then I, I took what I like and I developed my own style you know um, as Harold described it and combined with my own interpretation. Young says he wants to share the story at schools across the country and if you want to get a copy of Karen Flies a Kite it is available for only $20. The proceeds go to the All Saints Alumni Foundation, which provides scholarships for deserving children to go to high school. The book is available here today, of course, um, at the bookstore, Image Factory Bookstore. And I have an a ambitious, I think, plan where I'm getting sponsors to sponsor the book, and I'm delivering two books to every elementary school in the entire country. And I've already started. This is going to take about a year. So I'm getting it out to schools and I hope that will stimulate people to um, donate and get more copies. For people in the diaspora, how can they get this? Yes, they on Facebook, I have. Uh, you can either use PayPal or you can do it on Facebook itself. They have a, pay, a payment button on Facebook and it comes directly to me and then I mail it out. I've done a, a lot of that before I came. People were pre-purchasing um, the book, so I did that and that's still, still available.